Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Now I wanted to review the very, very, very popular Sunset Palette by Natasha Denona. I know I'm very late on the review, but what can I do guys? I This palette, this product was so popular that I just could not get my hands on it. I, I'm not a competitive shopper, so every time I, wear, I checked, it was always out of stock. And there was this one time I, I, I was able to place my order. This is when they uh, it was not a permanent palette this was when it was still a limited edition palette i was i placed my order i got my uh, email confirmation then i also got my shipping confirmation but i couldn't see the shipping progress so i waited like for five days like almost a week then i contacted sephora they were like no we ran out of inventory so we're canceling your order i was i usually don't get disappointed when i don't I'm not able to get makeup products you know uh, I'm not really disappointed I'm I, I'm usually like it's all right there'll always be other products I could buy other products but I was expecting it I got the confirmation and Sephora kind of made me wait for a week and then they're telling me no product so but that's that's all past finally I got my hands on the product now everything is kind of calmed down and the product is still in stock so I went ahead and relaxedly just bought the palette without any uh, hassle. So I bought mine on Sephora's website. You can buy it on Beautylish or Natasha Denona's website even. So yeah, this is the box that it came in. Uh, this is a 15 pan eyeshadow palette. So in each pan you get 2.5 grams of product and that's 0 0.08 ounce of product, which is a lot of product guys. The quantity is really on the higher side. Um, this retail is for $129. I know a lot of people say that, how can you spend $129 on one product? Now, I'm not trying to justify the product, I'm not at all, but just looking at the amount of product, the sheer amount you get, the quantity you get in each pan, it's, personally, I feel you get 15 products, 15 full-size products. It's just a matter of, it's, it's all under one roof. You know it's it's in a palette that's all but you actually get 15 full-size products in fact more than a full-size eyeshadow if you ask me just for reference max full-size single eyeshadows you get 0 0.05 ounce of product from what I remember and Urban Decay also their full-size eyeshadow singles which retail for $20 each you get 0 0.05 ounce of product as well I think makeup geek you get a little bit more 0 0.06 ounce of product so you get a way more product guys than any of the shadows that you see out in the market i think makeup forever you get 0 0.08 ounce of product i think i think the same amount of product but they are in those big pans so me personally i think even before i wanted to buy this product that's how i how, how i considered it you know but based on how much you get uh, of course, it's up to you as a consumer whether you really need so much product or not. That's up to you to decide, but you get a ton of product. So I would consider this 15 products for $129. That's how I consider this. But this is the packaging. Uh, this probably inside is plastic. I'm not sure. This, this, uh, this area probably is plastic, but on top you have fabric actually which is beautiful color the color of fab is so beautiful the sunset color and then uh, what else what does it say the palette is made in Italy and this is paraben free and not tested on animals so which is really good so it, it is cruelty free and I think I bought mine on Sephora's website uh, you can buy this on Beautylicious website and also the Natasha Denona's website as well I'm not sure where else you can find Natasha Denona brand. I don't know. So it does come with a, a mirror, which is actually very small. Maybe this size. That's it. It's a small mirror, not a big one. And then there's like a separation, like a plastic uh, page separation, which has the code names of the eyeshadow and the names of the eyeshadows. There is a perforation, which you can tear off. Uh, so it's up to you whether you want to keep it or not. So these are the beautiful colors, guys. I have to say, yeah, it does remind me of sunset and kind of shades, but I have to say there is an overload of golds and oranges uh, than reds. You have just one red, just one red. 
not any kind of variation but there are so many variations of oranges and browns and golds here which i like i'm not complaining but anyways let's get into the swatches the first row this is atmosphere i'm starting from the top row this is atmosphere which is a metallic shade i have to say again i'm just making note of this when natasha denona brand was introduced in social media those 24 pants People were just raving about the metallic eyeshadows, guys. But I personally expected it to be super foiled and like just something very unique. But don't get me wrong. It is beautiful. This is a metallic finish. It's beautiful. Uh, but uh, it's not foil looking. I think she does have another finish, which is a chroma crystal, which is a kind of foil finish. But this to me is more like a satin finish. It's... I don't know but yeah it's a beautiful shade it is beautifully pigmented you can with a flat eyeshadow brush or blending brush whatever it works with everything it's a beautiful shade but I don't know maybe I was expecting it something it to be a little bit different so this is atmosphere and this is Sinai which is a matte shade again uh, like a brown burnt brown kind of shade so pigmented and so creamy the shade this white is called ice ice gold or cold ice gold i'm sorry which is actually chroma crystal i think which is the shade i don't know guys this is not even as reflective as the metallic and i was telling you metallic is like a satin shade but this is a chroma crystal which is supposed to be that foiled metallic finish but this is just not very reflective i was initially i initially thought even in the pan i thought this is a matte shade this white shade i don't know it's pigmented but uh this next is mandarin this is mandarin which is it says duochrome me personally i just feel it's just a mandarin yellow shade it's a beautiful shade it's so pigmented so foil and stunning this is the shade I have in the center of the eyelids today and it's so beautiful extremely pigmented so creamy it looks like velvet on your eyes guys but I don't think this is duochrome I don't know any angle I see it's the same color it's just the same color but it's uh, it's labeled duochrome but i don't see the duochrome it's it's a beautiful shade but this is called bronze edge which is a chroma crystal let me swatch it and you'll see the difference between this white and this bronze color it's just this is so flat so that is the top row and then second row you have this brown volcano the mats are so buttery to the touch, guys. So amazing. So that is Volcano, which is very pigmented, blends beautifully, which is a brown color. And then you have Obad, Obey, which again is so similar to this bronze, bronze edge. This has a little bit more gold in it. And what, and this is a chroma, chroma shade, chroma crystal or chroma. There you go. Definitely lighter than the Bronze Edge shade. Bronze Edge has more brown in it, more brown or peach in it. This is so intense gold. It's amazing, guys. It's so beautiful. So do you see the difference? This is also labeled Chroma Crystal. And do you, these two are also labeled Chroma Crystal. This is so flat. So anyways, um, then we have Horizon, which is like again an orange matte shade again very very pigmented very pigmented it blends beautifully it applies easily and then uh, this is sun dazed which is again a chroma crystal very pale yellow gold i have to say this shade and the mandarin shade wow <laughs> this shade and the mandarin shade uh, wait this shade this shade and this shade are so similar let me show that in the pan for you guys 
this and this look so so similar don't you guys think in the pan they are kind of different but uh, on my skin they kind of look the same very similar but they are beautiful shades and I'm not complaining that they are so similar because both are outstanding just outstanding beautiful shades this is a matte shade which is called terra like a terracotta shade it's a beautiful shade again like i said a lot of orange tones orange 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 it's just an overload of orange and gold gold definitely there's some gold in all of these shades so yeah and then final row you have this beautiful bermuda just like very very pale peach uh on my skin it kind of looks has this white base you, you can see that uh so yeah i i wish it were a little bit darker uh, something that would give a little bit more definition and dimension on my skin uh, but I don't know. I feel it's very, very pastel on my skin. And then you have a duochrome. The second duochrome, I think, is called Mor Morgana. Morgana is like this fiery orange-red shade. Just duochrome. Duoch I think this is duochrome. I can see that this is a duochrome gold and orange more than a mandarin shade this is more of a duochrome shade i feel and then you have this matte uh, red pungent it's creamy and very very pigmented so so pigmented guys this is the shade i have in the outer corner here the red and i also have a little bit of this shade just here just blended here to give that little bit of dimension so I have this shade just in this corner and I have the red shade in the crease and also in the outer corner. Then you have a very, very creamy brown, which is called Igneous. Igneous, I think. It is, a, it is a matte shade. Do you see how so pigmented it is, guys? All the shades are beautiful. And then finally, you have a matte yellow, it's called Soul. So again, it's very, very pigmented. So these are the uh, swatches. I have to say, quality-wise, the palette is outstanding, guys. Just simply outstanding. I love the palette. Now, this kind of lo lo low, I mean, wait. I'm trying to say this kind of lies flat I don't know it almost looks like a matte how they went from a matte finish to a chroma crystal I don't know but this shade is just a little bit I don't know kind of lies flat but the rest are super pigmented and as I said initially in the beginning of the video there is an overload of oranges and gold so um, if you don't like these tones, maybe you may not like this palette, especially given uh, the price. Um, but if you love the colors, I think you wouldn't complain uh, on the overload of golds and oranges and those fiery shades. I wish they had done some, uh, you know, some, some different kind of reds as well. You know, we have so many oranges. One, two, three, four. There are so plenty of this as well. So many oranges matte metallic duochrome and all that they could have done something different with the red as well i feel but um they could have done some metallic red or duochrome red or something like that so yeah if you really uh, feel this is way too expensive i highly recommend the joya palette that she came out for the holiday season which is a five pan palette that also has some beautiful fiery red shades joya palette or the aries palette that also has a five pan palette which retails for 48 dollars that compared to this that's a lot more affordable especially given the sephora sale coming up now recently but not recently i think in three days three days or four days yeah uh, at least for the vib rouge uh it begins in few, very few days so yeah i if you have the funds at your disposal and if you love the shades, I guess, I 
say go ahead and buy it. It's a beautiful palette, extremely easy to work with, guys. It blends beautifully. Just uh, sweep the product across the eyelids and it just blends by itself, to be honest. It, there is no, there are no harsh lines to begin with. So there's, n there's no need to uh, actual blending at all. There's no need to blend because there are no harsh lines at all. So that's why, that's what I mean by they blend by them by themselves. So great quality eyeshadows, definitely on the expensive side. Even if, and this is a permanent palette. So even if you do not have the funds at your disposal right now to buy it, you can take your time, save up and buy the palette whenever you want. Or you can also opt for the Natasha Denona's A uh, Joya palette, which is which also has gold and reds, but not gold similar to this. That is more of that mango yellow. This is also yellow, but I feel there's more of bronze gold, very pale gold, peachy gold kind of a tone going on here. That is a different kind of gold. You you could just look up picture on pictures online and looks that Natasha Denona has done with that eyeshadow palette, and you'd see it's also a very kind of sunset palette. There's a metallic red, there's a matte red, there's like a peachy toned uh, bronze shade. So very similar, but more of a concise, smaller palette, and that is also a lot more, lot less expensive than this. So yeah, hope you guys found this video useful. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked watching it and please subscribe. Bye.